video is for educational purposes only. Last time we were talking about the queens of Nubia, and I mentioned the last time Queen Tahi. Now this time we'll be talking about African King Mansa Musa, one of the richest men to ever walk this earth. Now we're going to get into this, um, I'm going to show y'all a short exhibit, a short clip about um, King Mansa Musa, African man who traveled through all the worlds creating um, trade maps and, you know, trade systems and stuff like that. And we're going to watch this short exhibit about Mr. Mansa Musa. And this is fair use. If someone asked you who the richest people in history were, who would you name? Perhaps a billionaire banker the richest or people. people like Bill Gates or John D. Rockefeller. How about Listen to what she just said. If someone asked you who was the richest people on this earth, who would you think of? Pay attention to what she says. The richest. The most wealthy. Listen, pay attention. You're going to run that back. Again, this is fair use. If someone asked you who the richest people in history were, who would you name? Perhaps a billionaire banker or corporate mogul like Bill Gates or John D. Rockefeller. No. How about African King Musa Kita I? Ruling the Mali Empire in the 14th century CE, Mansa Musa, or the King of Kings, amassed a fortune that possibly made him one of the wealthiest people who ever lived. Y'all see it? Look at all that gold that black man standing on. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? This is in history. The richest man that ever walked this earth was a black man, and his name was Mansa Musa. Understand that. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to give you a little bit of history. Oh, you know, my brother, ancestor, you know what I'm saying? Mansa Musa of the great uh, tribe of riches and wealth. But his vast wealth was only one piece of his rich legacy. When Mansa Musa came to power in 1312, much of Europe was wracked by famine and civil wars. But many African kingdoms and the Islamic world were flourishing. And Mansa Musa played a great role in bringing the fruits of this flourishing to his own realm. By strategically annexing the city of Timbuktu and... Bringing the fruits of flourishment to his own land. Have y'all ever seen um, coming to America when they say, the man's got his own money. That's basically what they're saying because where he come from is royalty. He created, nobody gave anything to him. You know what I'm saying? They, they, um, they, um, he, he earned it. You understand what I'm saying? And they be calling us all these words like niggers. And look, this was a rich river, a trade way to where, how he got his riches. The nigger is rich. Look, river nigger. This is the motherfucking river that got him trillions of dollars. They're calling us niggers. So we must be wealthy, right? Because these are the lands of the trademarks of which he traded his goods to get his money, his billions. These are called the rivers of Niger. You see what I'm saying? These are the richest rivers ever to this land. Pay attention. He's from the Mali Empire. From Timbuktu. If the boys got his own money, man, listen. This is how he kept his money, too. Pay attention. This man right here can teach you a lot. Re-establishing power over the city of Gaul, he gained control over important trade routes between the Mediterranean and the West African coast. The rivers, you see? During a period of expansion, which dramatically increased Mali's size. Dramatically. The territory of the Mali Empire was rich in natural resources, such as gold and salt. The world first witnessed the... Mali was rich with gold and salt. This is where we came from. This was ours. We already came from wealth. We came from money. Our lands were rich with gold and salt. This is, this is what was already here before us. He grew up in a land that was full of minerals. And those two minerals was salt and gold. You see what I'm saying? And they didn't steal it from nobody. 
You feel me? They didn't work for it. It was theirs. They owned it. It was from their land. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. He got the whole world in his hands. That's symbolizing of God, the almighty, the most wealthiest. Extent of Mansa Musa's wealth in 1324, when he took his pilgrimage to Mecca. Not one to travel on a budget, he brought a caravan stretching as far as the eye could see. Look. Accounts of this journey are mostly based on an oral testimony and differing written records, so it's difficult to determine the exact details. But what most agree on is the extravagant scale of the excursion. Chroniclers describe an entourage of tens of thousands of soldiers, civilians, and slaves. 500 heralds bearing gold staffs and dressed in fine silks, and many camels and horses bearing an abundance of gold bars. Now, he's on his way to, to Mecca, right? This is what he came with. He came with thousands of people Carrying thousands of gold. Just imagine how much gold this is. This is what they brought for them on the trip. This ain't, this ain't, imagine what they got at home. This is over 100 people carrying tons of thousands and trillions of dollars worth of gold all through Amer America, all through the European land. You understand what I'm saying? These are black people. That's gold that they're carrying. You see that camel? That's gold. You feel what I'm saying? Those are little sister wives. And they're carrying gold, as you see. Feel me? These are the slave workers, and they're carrying gold. You understand what I'm saying? These are the uh, the sister wives, the more sister wives. You understand what I'm saying? And these are the royal priestess carrying and leading and guiding away. Imagine showing you all the people. Imagine having so much gold, you could just go across the world with it and not even trip about nothing. Like this is just what they brought with them. You understand what I'm saying? They come from a rich place. You feel what I'm saying? All this gold came from an African land. Money is not real. American money is something that comes from a tree. You know what I'm saying? But gold, they used to use gold as currency because gold don't deteriorate. Money is something you can make up and print anything on. You understand what I'm saying? But gold is, is wealth from God. Uh, a $100 bill and stuff, that's wealth from man. The real wealth comes from God, which is in his gold that Mansa Musa had, the African king of the Mali Empire. Pay attention. Fair use. Stopping in cities such as Cairo, Mansa Musa is said to have spent massive quantities of gold, massive. giving to the poor, buying souvenirs, and even having mosques built along the way. This nigga had so much gold, he was sharing it. This nigga was giving gold to homeless people. You know what I'm saying? Which shows you why he was blessed. He had a rich spirit. He could have wanted it all to himself. He going around building new temples for people, spreading gold. You understand what I'm saying? This man was also a legend because he spread. He had so much gold, he didn't mind giving it away. King Master Moses, nigga. That's a black face right there. That's a black man. They say, oh, you think one of the richest people on earth? Oh, you think of Bill Gates? No. Massa Musa. King Massa Musa. From the African Empire of Mali. Going through helping the homeless. Giving away free gold. Carrying gold all through the nations. Look. Fair use. My G. You understand me? This man ain't playing no games with nobody. You understand what I'm saying? And that's a short excerpt of, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Um, Mansa Musa. So he's going around the country. He's giving away free gold. You understand what I'm saying? And he's making it do what he do. You understand what I'm saying? This man was the richest man to ever walk the earth. You understand what I'm saying? His name was King Massa Musa. Understand that. You feel what I'm saying? It's not a game out here. You understand me? And, and, and God is good. You feel what I'm saying? And, and you just got to pay attention. The truth is right there in your face. 
You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is really just pay attention. You feel me? That's it, man. Hold on.